It's Black History Month and through the month of February, we're dedicating our Fridays at 4 p.m. to connecting, elevating and celebrating our black community with the help of race and culture contributor Shay Johnson. So she's joining us today. We're in our red. We're going to yes. talk about that in a second. <laughs> First, we want to talk about 2023 and the theme Black Resistance. Yes, that is our theme this year. It's Black History Month. I celebrate all year long, but this is the perfect time for everyone else to join in. Yes. The theme this year is Black Resistance, and that can be in any form. So it's partaking in the arts, how you show up in the community, how you support black businesses, how you support black entrepreneurs, and how you help really talk about the racial disparities in health. Yeah. Yeah, so however you want to talk. Yeah, talk. Be it's a part easy. of it. You can do anything. You can do anything to be a part of this Financially support them. Yeah. Anything. We also want to talk, we're going to spend a lot of time here, a little bit, yeah. a lot of time in TV. <laughs> right, as much as we can. Uh, about, about heart disease. Yes. And, and the disparities here. Mm. Because first of all, we always talk about how women have different symptoms than men, yeah. and people are forgetting about women, but the black community in particular. Absolutely. So one being a woman, um, you know, heart disease, strokes are the number one killer of women. And then black women are disproportionately affected. Black women are dying from strokes two times more than white women. Black women, at an annual rate, we're dying. 50,000 women are dying annually that are black, that really just don't know the signs, like the early detection. And it's happening as early as the age of 20. Wow. So when you really start to think about this, you know, a lot of people say, oh, I can wait. I can, you know, find out later. But if you know anything, if you have family history, if you know that you have high blood pressure, any of those things, you have to take action now. Because for black women, this is deadly and at a rapid rate. And it also, we talk about stroke and everything yeah. else. And family history is so important. So important when we get to that, right? Knowing your family history, going to the doctor, getting checked up, any symptoms, small or large, it matters. So please, women, take this serious. Yeah, I think sometimes women think they can do it all. Yeah. And they, you know, we have they, that they put themselves on the back burner. Woman. Yeah. Yeah, that superwoman complex. Different. Yeah. And so in honor of Black History Month, we also want to recognize the achievements of some trailblazers we in the do. community as well. Tell us about the Ketone Cares Foundation. So my, one of my favorite trailblazers right here in Denver, Colorado is DJ Ketone. Um, Ketone, I'm yeah, sorry. It's okay, Ketone. Ketone has been really setting this community up for success so many years. And this is his 16th annual birthday bash. It is the Ketone Care Foundation. This is time where you really impact the community. He does it every year, 16 years strong, received a proclamation last year, and it's impactful, right? He's bringing the community together. He's putting experts in the community that help really get the mind, body, and soul enriched. So if you're looking at what can I support, who's actually moving the needle forward, mm -hmm. this is an organization that is doing the work. So he's inviting us to take part this year and make sure if you can sponsor, become a sponsor, because this is doing the a real impact right here in our community in Colorado. And I just saw that mental health awareness and dealing yes. with everything, like you said, mind, soul, body, the It's the, the works. full gamut, right? And what I love with K-Tone is he brings men into the conversation that you wouldn't most likely see in the conversation. Mm -hmm. And so this is really changing the trajectory for our youth, for our community. K-Tone's Care Foundation needs your support and they continue to support us. So I feel like it's that, that organization that you have to just Go and do something. Be a part of the impact. If that's it, jump yeah. on it. Jump yeah, on the talking, impact. And that's a good thing, getting men to talk about this stuff. Right. Um, we also want to talk about a great doctor. And yes. tell. And we have a photo, too. Myra Adele Logan. So yes. tell me about. Myra Adele Logan is not only the first African-American, but the first female to do open heart surgery. That's incredible. So it's heart day, right? Yep. What better time than to recognize this pioneer of a woman that really has set the tone for women being able to enter the medical field. What I love about her as well, she was really instrumental in bringing and developing antibiotics. Oh my gosh. Yes. How we have And how much do we need how antibiotics? We, <laughs> right? we need antibiotics. We need those. So her impact is surely felt not just today, but all the you know, all year long. So thank you, Dr. Myra Logan, for your contribution. That's and, and that's so important. We talk about this often. We need to see doctors yes. that, you know, to see a woman in the black community that's a doctor and then younger generations say, Oh, I can do that. I can be that. I can do anything. Yeah, you can do anything. So as we really talk about, you know, health disparities right now and really look at those things, this is time where we're going to have to look at health equity for all means that all people have access, all people have resources, all people have opportunity to live their highest potential for great health.
Okay, you hit on it all. As yeah. Aspirations, taking care of your own heart health, mental health, right. to, commu committing to the community. Committing to it. Go to ktonescaresfoundation.org and go ahead and sponsor his event coming up in this March. That makes a difference. It and, makes a and, difference. And tell Shay. Everything tell you need me. to make. Shay.johnson at 9news.com. She loves to hear all about what's going on in the community. Yes. And um, believe me, she, she's very, you know, she's like, shy. she's kind of shy. She probably might not bit. talk about it very mm, much. Not at all. That's what I love about you. <laughs> you guys, make sure you send those emails in. We want to make sure we highlight what you have going on in the community. I know. We need you. We need to okay. get those out there. I love it. All right, make sure you keep your red on today. Yes. We we'll be, and you'll be back next week. I'll be back next week. Okay.